Authorities in Greece have declared a state of emergency after the most powerful earthquake so far shook the island of Santorini. Authorities in Greece have declared a state of emergency after the most powerful earthquake so far shook the island of Santorini. A state of emergency has been declared on the Greek island of Santorini following several days of tremors. I work on the island. I've lived here for years, but nobody was expecting this. Greece's famous tourist destination, Santorini, is emptying out. More than 11,000 people, locals and tourists, have fled in just days. In the last two days, at least 200 minor earthquakes were recorded in the Aegean, with the strongest being of magnitude 4.6 on the Richter scale. A new geological update has revealed significant activity beneath Santorini. Recent seismic data confirm a magma intrusion, with land deformation, inflation, and deflation patterns signaling changes in the underground reservoir. An official report update on ground deformation at Santorini estimates the magma volume involved in this ongoing crisis. Leading institutions, including CNRS, the National Observatory of Athens, and Greek universities, conducted the research, shedding light on the region's seismic shifts. Rising concerns over Colombo underwater volcano, just 7 kilometers for miles from Santorini, the Colombo submarine volcano is showing worrying signs. In December, researchers detected a rapidly filling shallow magma chamber reaching pre-eruption levels. Colombo's history of explosive eruptions, combined with increased seismic activity near its main crater, has raised concerns. Additional monitoring stations were installed last year, with four more added recently. However, fragmented data ownership and poor institutional coordination limit access to crucial information. Currently, only three GNSS stations are operational, down from 10 during the 2011-2012 unrest, creating gaps in analysis. Ground deformation and magma movement, recent data show land deformation accelerating since mid-2024, especially near the SN station. Elevation shifts jumped from 60 mm to over 100 mm, indicating a rising magma chamber. Other stations, HUS and Uranus, confirm movement trends, though at a lesser magnitude due to distance. Updated readings from February 11th reveal three key movements, uplift, northward drift, and a northeastward shift, mirroring the trajectory of recent seismic swarms. Notably, a deflation trend began on January 20, followed by rapid acceleration toward the north-northeast on January 29. Unexplained magma disappearance, scientists note similarities to Iceland's Rake Jane's Peninsula, where magma reservoirs inflated and emptied without eruptions. This phenomenon, known as magma intrusion, occurs when underground magma shifts without breaching the surface, akin to a stretched rubber band redistributing pressure. The increasing deformation speed suggests intensifying underground forces, yet the simultaneous deflation raises critical questions. If magma isn't reaching the surface, where is it going? Santorini's seismic evolution remains a mystery, but with Colombo's explosive potential, ongoing monitoring is essential. Magma moves along the path of least resistance, infiltrating weaker zones like brittle rock formations. This movement deforms the surface, causing land uplift when a magma chamber expands, similar to inflating a balloon underground. When magma exits, the land subsides, creating a deflationary signal. Seismic activity and magma migration. Seismic activity is a key indicator of magma migration. As magma forces through rock, it generates tremors, similar to tunnel excavation. A dramatic example occurred in Iceland on November 10, 2023, when a massive intrusion formed a 15 km long dike extending toward Reykjavik and into the sea, triggering intense seismic activity. The ongoing seismic turbulence at Santorini raises a crucial question, is this a prolonged magma intrusion? Persistent shaking suggests so, but fault lines could also be amplifying activity. If magma interacts with a fault, it may open new pathways, fueling further movement and setting off secondary ruptures, 
creating a chain reaction of seismic and volcanic activity. This evolving situation demands close monitoring. Recent observations and ground deformation, recent data from 2025 highlight significant movement around the SN station, with deflation and shifting toward the north and east, aligning with observed ground deformation. Reports indicate rising land beneath Santorini's central island, raising concerns about magma accumulation. Satellite imagery and GNSS data confirm localized uplift, reinforcing suspicions of subsurface activity. A time series graph from January 25 shows initial inflation, then deflation around January 29, coinciding with the earthquake swarm. A brief stabilization was followed by another drop, mirroring periods of intense seismic activity, including a magnitude 5.3 quake. Did magma escape the chamber? A later rise in elevation suggests deeper sources may be replenishing the reservoir, triggering cycles of inflation and deflation, a pattern well documented in Iceland. There, intrusions are often followed by land subsidence, only for uplift to resume as fresh magma refills the chamber. Tectonic versus magmatic activity, data from the high station show stability through mid-2024, followed by a gradual 20 mm elevation increase by January 2025. Northward and eastward shifts accelerated, particularly around January 29, fluctuations in vertical displacement indicate ongoing subsurface pressure changes. Stations farther south still show deflation, though northward and eastward motion continues. The key question remains, is this purely tectonic, or does magma play a dominant role? While plate movement contributes to deformation, the evidence strongly suggests magmatic activity, particularly given the rising land beneath Santorini. If a magma dike or intrusion is forming, it can create depressions on either side, leading to localized subsidence as magma forces its way through the crust. This has been observed in Iceland, where magma-driven deformation forms valleys parallel to intrusions. However, data from Santorini remain limited, leaving uncertainty about the full scope of these movements. A purely tectonic explanation seems less likely. If this is indeed a magma intrusion, the best-case scenario is that enough magma has been displaced, reducing immediate pressure buildup. In this case, deformation could slow, unless new fault lines activate or fresh magma pathways develop. Another possibility is a balanced flow scenario, where magma continuously rises while an ongoing eruption releases pressure. If this is happening, deformation and seismic activity could persist longer. Monitoring and future implications, deep underground, magma moves through chambers, creating pathways for molten rock to reach the surface. As condits form, seismic activity usually declines similar to how an excavated tunnel stops causing tremors before an eruption. Typically, earthquake swarms occur, followed by a sudden eruption, then a drop in seismic activity. However, in this case, continued seismic unrest remains an anomaly, raising questions about the underlying processes. New geodetic data shed light on ground deformation, tracking displacement rates before and during recent volcanic activity. From August 1, 2024, to February 24, 2025, land inflation persisted for 170 days, signaling ongoing magmatic activity. Similar swarms in 2011 to 2012 were confirmed as magmatic, drawing comparisons to the current situation. While minor measurement errors happen, consistent deformation patterns across monitoring stations indicate sustained unrest. Scientists analyzing Asof deformation, which tracks land movement direction, have pinpointed the likely source. The deformation field has shifted compared to 2011 to 2012, suggesting a new magma accumulation site. Estimates place the magma reservoir at a shallow depth of around 4.3 kilometers, similar to unrest seen beneath Iceland and Italy's Campi Flegri. Even with alternative data points, the depth remains close to 4.8 kilometers, confirming that magma is near the surface. Based on deformation trends, approximately 6.5 million cubic meters of magma have accumulated at this depth. 
While not massive compared to Icelandic eruptions, Santorini's magma composition makes even moderate intrusions concerning due to its explosive potential. This volume corresponds to a maximum vertical uplift of 9 cm at the center of deformation. Assuming a steady inflation rate, this suggests a daily uplift of 1.1 mm, or about 33 mm per month. The most revealing changes occurred between early January and mid-February 2025. If the magma chamber's volume shifted significantly during this time, it could indicate whether magma is actively intruding, exiting, or redistributing. Current measurements at the SN station show deflation reaching nearly half of the previous inflation, suggesting complex dynamics. Unlike typical patterns where seismic activity drops post-deformation, continued unrest raises uncertainty. Whether this signals an imminent eruption or prolonged instability remains unclear. Ongoing monitoring is crucial. Make sure to subscribe to Musk Mind for more intriguing and informative content. Thanks for tuning in.